Okay, so now we'll take a look at the um, fabrics that you can use uh, for this pattern. It's quite a versatile pattern. You can make it with cut and sew foam or without cut and sew foam. You can make it with stretchy fabrics for the cover or you can make it with regular duoplex fabrics um, for the cover. Um, and I'll show you all the techniques for all of those things as we do the sew along. Okay, but for now, these are the kind of fabrics that you can have. So this is a stretchy fabric. It stretches woo, quite a bit in this direction, um, not really in that direction. And that's kind of what you want. Um, it's, uh, if, if you've got a fantastic uh, four-way stretch jersey that you've always wanted to use, then okay. But I'm starting to make up um, a sample bra, a sample ruby, using the wonderful um, bamboo knit that, um, that we carry, that Beverly carries. Um, and it's got four-way stretch. It's lovely, it's soft, it's gorgeous. It was a bugger. I mean, sorry, it was difficult. Um, I just didn't like it because it stretched in two directions. The seams were ripply. Um, it was very hard and I didn't like it. But obviously, if that's what you want to use, then fine. Just be patient with it. So, um, something that's nice and stretchy in one direction. And obviously, this is your dog's. So, this piece would be cut out like that. Okay. So, that's a stretchy fabric. Um, you can make it up in duoplex if you're not familiar with duoplex. Oops, I've got a bit of mess for me. Um, if you're not familiar with duoplex, this is it. Um, it has no give whatsoever in one direction, but parallel to the um, selvages, it has give. Can you see that? So this fabric has stretch. It stretches and it comes back because it has lycra in it, so it has recovery. This doesn't have lycra, it doesn't recover in the same way it gives slightly. Okay, so it kind of moves with you. Um, and you'll definitely need duoplex for the frame or something similar for the frame because the frame, the golden rule is, the frame doesn't move in these patterns anyway. I know other styles do, but these patterns, the frame doesn't move then in the back band you have a power net, which is like this, and this does have recovery. This is how uh, an underwired bra works. This is the uh, engineering in a bra, and you can see that this is power net and it's strong. It's not power mesh like you get knickers made out of or whatever. Um, it has to be strong. It's got a tough job to do. It stretches in both directions. Um, we'll talk about how to tell which direction is the right way for the dogs um, in the next session. So that's your power net. Um, and you'll also need cup lining. This is regular sheer cup lining. It's completely stable. It doesn't go anywhere. You need this to line the cups because otherwise you'll be like, uh, watermelons in a string bag kind of effect which you definitely don't want to have you need to give stability to these bottom cups okay so if you're using a lovely stretchy fabric you need to keep hold of it and if you want to make your front frame out of the same stretchy fabric obviously you can but it absolutely has to be lined with um, sheer cup lining and um, Beverly does and therefore I do two types of cup lining one is sheer one is 15 denier don't use the 15 denier. It has give, okay? So make sure it's sheer cup lining. It comes in this kind of um, fleshy tone color, black or white. It doesn't matter what the color of it is, you never see it, but um, that's what it comes in. Um, and then the foam. So this is cut and sew foam. It's lovely and soft and squishy. Um, it's not like a padded bra. So if you kind of think, oh, I'm already quite large, breasted I don't want to add extra you're not really adding extra it's it's soft it's pretty thin it doesn't force you into a shape it just gives you a nice shape um, it too has give in one direction and not really in the other so make sure you get that right um, and that's cut and sew foam don't be tempted by using any other kind of craft foam or anything like that you'll be sorry if you do so that's the foam um, okay, so those are the fabrics. Uh, the thing that's different about this bra 
in terms of the findings. If you're used to getting findings kits from me or from Beverly, what's different about it is that it has no neckline trim. This has a beautiful, beautiful top shape, top line shape. Um, it's lovely and curvy. Um, and to finish it off, you're better off using um, fold over elastic, which is what these are. Uh, if you do other types of sewing, you may be used to fold over elastic, um, even if you may even have used it in your bras. But um, you can see it has two sides, a shiny side, a dull side. You can use whatever side you like, doesn't matter. Um, but what you can see is that it has a line down the middle of it. And this gives you a natural fold line like this. And this sits over the top edge of your cup. And then you sew it with a zigzag. Again, I'll show you the techniques for using that uh, as and when we come to that part. But this goes along the top edge of the cups. Um, or you can have this lovely spotty one, which is slightly more narrow. Um, that's what's different. Um, this has been designed, and Beverly tells you on the back of the envelope, that to use the half inch bottom band elastic. Um, that's what this has been designed for. I find that if you're more than maybe four, four and a half inches as a bottom cup um, depth, you're probably used to having three quarter inch bottom band elastic. Um, and you can still use that. Um, you'll have to do a thing with it, but I'll show you that again when we come to it. Um, so I'm going to put together a findings kit for the Ruby because it also has a couple of other slightly different things. Um, and you can still choose small or large depending on what uh, bottom band elastic and whether you want two by three or three by three hook and eyes. Um, so don't worry about that. I'll talk to you more about that uh, next time. Or obviously you don't other findings kits are available as they say on the VVV but they're not as good okay so I think that's the essential fabrics that you need um, so we'll call it a day here I think I've given enough to think about and then in the next session I won't be me talking all the time but we'll start to trace the pattern off cut it out mark the notches get everything sorted out the way we want it to do and um, I'll talk about, I'll show you how to sew the foam pieces together if you've never done that before. Okay, I hope you're excited. I am. Um, and we'll see how we all get on. Please um, make any comments on the blog if you want to ask any questions that you're not sure of. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.